miss the changing of the guard ceremony. I was like two minutes late, but I caught the last end of it, which is like, I'm behind them. <laughs> anyway, let's go see where, where they go. Okay. Getting closer to the, the palace. Size and gents, all the way through. This is much better. Keep moving through. All the way across, ladies and gents. Keep moving through. Come on, I'm sorry. You can't stop it. You need to start moving, stuff. Thank you. Folks, if we can keep on moving, please, you're blocking the path at the moment. If you want to watch it, either side. If not, keep it moving, folks. Keep on moving. Let's get out of this crowded. It's crowded. It's crowded. It's crowded. Uh, okay. Much better. Yay, we got out of the crowd. still good morning I'm not 100% sure but in a way we're here at, in front of the Buckingham Palace we actually made it it was crowded this morning when the changing of the guard commenced but it's actually starting to get now freer because earlier it was so crowded but right behind me you can see is the Buckingham Palace I was at the rail railing earlier today but again um, it was kind of hard to see just because there's a lot of people I was late but a little windy today as you can see here in UK London it's cold compared to Dubai this is definitely opposite of the weather I've been experiencing for the last two weeks and right in front of me is a statue okay I didn't do my research so I don't really know which statue this is so if you know what statue this is or I'll probably google it later but anyway just wanted you guys to see what I'm looking at right now. And there's another statue on the left side. Right there. So I'm probably gonna go check out another site, go get some fish and chips for lunch. Then probably hit Big Ben and maybe Tower London all in one day. We will see. But yeah. Um as far as la yesterday, it was a hassle to get to UK. I flight the original flight got cancelled so I had to rebook another flight that cost me about five hundred and sixty seven dollars to um, from Emirates to get to London which got me to London around 5 30 p.m. it was dark already so I wasn't anticipating to get here so dark but I didn't get to my hostel until about I believe it was like 8 o'clock 7 30 ish but anyway I was so tired I was like kind of at the point where I just really want to just call a taxi but I went ahead and walked the 10 minutes to my hostel. I made it so I slept a lot, uh, slept early and now I'm well rested so we're gonna be walking a lot and I mean a lot. So I guess I should get started and go find lunch. Okay.
it's so it's like cold wind um yeah definitely body's not quite used to this since the weather that i just came from was dubai which is like hot and then now here we are in london cold should have brought my gloves too anyway let's get going let's get some food me hungry For a bit. On to other things. Finally, we got our food. It's a fish and chip. So this is my first meal in London, which is fish and chips. Since I'm here, I'm gonna have fish and chips. Mm -hmm. Got peeled up because we still have a lot of walking to do today. We're gonna go to Capitol Square and all of the other places. Okay, I'm gonna go eat and then I'll see you guys later. So I'm finally. Ah! <laughs> anyway, so I finally full. I just finished my fish and chip at the St. Peter's Tavern, I believe, is the name of the restaurant. The fish and chip was really good. It was really crunchy and very juicy and tender inside. So definitely, if you're gonna be here, check them out. The only thing though is very pricey. It was 18.15 um, pounds for the fish and chip platter, which. Right now is about $23 for the, that plate. So it is a little bit more on the expensive side, but it was still good. At least I can say I tried fish and chip in UK, but right behind me right now is Big Ben. As you can see right behind, it's very shiny, it's very new. So they just newly restored, I believe the Big Ben Tower. And I don't think I can get any closer inside so we're just going to admire it from here and right beside it is I believe the parliament so I'm gonna go check it out okay let's go took the, the bus to the Trafalgar Square. <laughs> anyway, it is dark so you can only see the fountain right behind me. But yeah, I just finished watching or actually listening to an organ recital at the St. Margaret Church. I thought it was a mass but it's actually just a recital. So it was 30 minutes of our organ playing and it was actually really nice. Just to be inside the church and be able to hear the organs play and you can hear the music throughout the church but yeah right now there's something going on in the back of me so we're gonna go check it out surprisingly it's christmas market here at the trafalgar square so i'm gonna have to check it out what they have in here Let's go. That's 
packaging the bag. That's brought first. Oh, boy, hi. Chocolate. Belgian premium chocolate. Some art, which I cannot take home with me. Oh, it's so pretty. Umbrella. Where's an umbrella? More scarves, hats. I thought they were ooh, churros. I think Cheche, you'll probably want some of these. Look at those churros. Dressed up my bratwurst with this thing. That's mustard. That's ketchup. <laughs> okay, well, let's gonna go eat. Let's go. Okay, we got our bratwurst. Mm. I don't know why. This was 10 pounds. Than 10 pounds for this thing. It's bigger than me. Let's try it. Probably on this side. It's so hot. It's good. So this is my dinner for the night. So this is my dinner for the night. I don't think I will be eating anymore. And then I'm probably gonna head back to the hotel and get ready for tomorrow. Cause tomorrow I'm gonna have the Harry Potter tour. So I gotta wake up early for that. So I'm just gonna eat my dinner here at the Christmas market at the Trafalgar Square.